competition here at Drag Week 21. All the competitors you see behind me just made a trip from Martin, Michigan here to Norwalk, Ohio, 280 miles yesterday. So congratulations to all of them. They're about, eh, about a quarter of the way through the drive this year, and it is no easy trip for some of these competitors. The big question on everybody's mind is, is Clark Rosenthal going to make it to the track today? We hear a rumor that he did get the motor back together late last night. Hopefully the drive was nice for him and he gets a pass in early this morning. But it's no easy trip for any of these competitors here. Anything can happen on the track or on the drive today. So make sure to subscribe to the channel for all the daily hi highlights. If you didn't see yesterday's action, make sure to go to our channel and check those out. But well, we're going to get to racing here in just a few minutes. We're going to be checking with racers, see what their drive was like, and bring you all the action. So here we go. What's up? How's it going? I'm good. First of all, was that your personal best yesterday? It was. Really? Yes. All right, high five for that. Thank you. How was the drive? The drive was smooth. We actually just installed our gear vendor. This is the first time. We've never ran one before. Rick was like, you have to run one. Absolutely. <laughs> and I don't know where we've been the whole time because we're cruising at 75 and like 2,000 RPM. And usually, we are like super slow getting places. And yesterday, we pulled in the hotel at like 11 o'clock. I'm like, this is what it's like. You got some sleep this last was, night. Well, I mean, I stayed up and tried to edit a video so oh, no okay. I didn't get any sleep but thanks I could have yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the goal today what are we looking at I want to see another seven great love to see a sub 750 because that's like I said I want to get my license that's my goal so uh, we reviewed data all the vitals look good everything looks nice so we're working on adding a little bit more power quicker to get that eighth mile and 330 and 60 foot down that's where we really have to work on um, so working on that, and then top end we had just a little bit more boost. Okay. <laughs> so seven, something below 750, you'd be ecstatic. So. I would be super yeah. ecstatic if that was the case. All right, one and done today, all right? That's the plan. All right, good luck. Thanks. Hell yeah. He in the Grand Cherokee goes 1203 at 116 miles an hour on the left-hand side. How are we doing this morning? 60 at 139, 30 now. How was the rest of the drive for you? This time we're looking at Darren Pape on the left-hand side in that 67 Chevy Nova. And Ryan Conker is on the right. Hand side. Remind and me what the setup is on the car. What, what are we looking at? 28 Ford, 556 inch, big block Chevy with twin down to four shelter dynos. We had it on chassis dynos, a little over 2,500 at the rear wheels. It's got a 1079, Ross 120, winner and that gear vendor on it too. So. And the little Roadster, 1173 yeah, um, yeah, at 111. So far so good, but it, it should go a little quicker than we did. I just don't know how much we'll step on it. What was your ET yesterday? 679. And that puts you at number two, right? I think so, but I really did. Well, good luck today. What are you hoping for today? 750? Sub 750? Um, if we were to run a, anything better than a 679, we're leaving. Oh, I'm sorry, 670. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck, man. Because if you pull up to the track, you don't see a single car trailer anywhere on the property. You just see cars parked like it's a parking lot, and they have trailers themselves, but no car trailers anywhere. So all these cars, everything from a 14-second car to a frickin' robot, made that 200 and some odd mile drive yesterday, and they are here, and it's crazy to see. Check this out. David Burke to the left-hand side. How'd you do on the road last night? Uh, we got really tired, almost fell asleep with boredom. It was a very good uneventful night at least. Well that's good. What did you learn anything from your first drive on it? Did anything you gonna change? Anything you did change? I gotta find some place to route the exhaust so he doesn't choke. Oh so I guess the funny it, things you don't think about whenever you do a build. The exhaust is dead center in the passenger side view. So whenever he's driving, if I look 
look straight ahead, everything's blurred. When it, he's on throttle, blurred, off throttle, clear. And then you look a little bit to the left, you're clear, a little bit to the right, you clear, look straight ahead, blurred. Do you think your eyesight was going a little oh, bit? Dude, like my eyes are screwing me all day long. <laughs> it's, it's cool though, it's awesome. So it's like the heat wave of the exhaust, I and mean, I never would have thought of that. Yeah. Um, as far as the drive goes, I mean, I literally had no issues at all. It's just you know, topping off on fuel. I mean, I'm getting about 11 miles to the gallon, so it's not, it's not bad. Terrible. It's yeah. not bad. I mean, coolant temps never went over 185, so I'm extremely happy about that. Hell yeah. So, well, I'm glad to see you guys made it. Good luck for day two, buddy. Saturday, we left to come to Dragon. Gotcha. But, well, glad, 
Glad to see you out here with the car again. Good luck today. Thank you. Glad to see you here on day two. See ya. double breakout, but about seven seconds into the run, it burnt the number six piston and put a hole straight through. Um, hurt the block pretty good. Uh, my buddy Ray at Ra Raz Custom Machine in less than 24 hours turned the block around and gave us something usable. And then we went through our pile of used pistons and we put together the six best pistons we could find and two really sketchy pistons. <laughs> And then we had used rings from a prior rebuild, so I threw a set of used rings in there. I had to reuse head gaskets. Um, basically from Thursday till tech day, I got about four hours of sleep, because we had a 14 hour drive built into that just yeah. to get to drag week. And then in tech day, my wife Jackie lost the transmission. She lost second gear, so tech day night, we rebuilt the transmission in the pits. We had to put an intermediate sprag in it. So I'm coming in today with about nine hours sleep over the last week. Uh, so we're riding a pretty good high right now. So yeah. this is, uh, we needed this bad. We needed this bad. Well, I would say one and done, but knowing you. No, I'm gonna go do a second and see if I can back that up. And if I can chisel a couple more thousands just to make sure we hold on to the lead. Gotcha. I don't want to leave here today without the lead. Gotcha. So, and second's that close. Well, trying to get the passage, trying to get the number you want, and then go get some sleep get on tonight, the buddy. Hell yeah, man. Great to see you. Hell yeah, congrats. 1320 video, watch it. <laughs>
as shallow as they can and as carefully as they can to run the best free range. 1289! They're good, but I think it's running out of fuel. I don't think oh. it's got enough fuel pressure. You know, it, it just acted like it was running out of gas. I got off of it just enough to let it catch up and got back into it. All together today, 1289. Not bad, not bad. Are you are you good with that? Are you I'm good? good? I'm good with that. One and done. One and done. That's everybody's goal right there. I'm just, I'm just trying to make it the whole week. That's Hell my yeah. plan. Right. Well, glad you did a one and done. Yep. We'll see you. Where are we going next? Indy. We'll see you in Indy. We'll see you there, buddy. Thank you. Later. Yesterday, I think it was a 769. Let's we'll see if she can get in the 50s today. The weather's great right now. It's going to get hot later. Hopefully, this is a good one. tens they just look ridiculous every time you see them because they're such tiny trucks but they have like a full size truck bed on them this one just happens to have a pair of turbos in the back Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. So we kind of, we just filled up. So basically, it was every 30-ish minutes. Gotcha. Probably stopping. Gotcha. So what are you hoping to do today? And the goal is to chip into the sevens. Okay. And then go deep. Get after it again. So hopefully we can get the wheels down. We might even, we might actually add weight. We might actually add weight, but not to the rear, to the front. Gotcha. So, just keep it down. Keep gotcha. it down. So. Well, good luck to you boys. Hopefully right. we see something in the sevens. All right. Appreciate it, buddy. Thanks, buddy. See ya. And if you missed it, yesterday I went for a ride in that thing on the road. It wasn't too bad, but it definitely wasn't comfortable for a 1,200 mile road trip. If you missed that, make sure you go check it out on yesterday's video. 709, not bad. You're not happy. You're not happy with it. No, I had to pedal it. The track wasn't there. Oh, really? I think it was oil on it. It was oil on the starting line. When I lined up, there was only the oil spots. I had to tell them to wipe the oil off. So, I don't know, they're sleeping. What are you, what are you hoping to get out of it? Something with a six today? Oh yeah, we, we wanted to average a six, but it ain't gonna happen now. Gotcha. It's probably too slow, but... Are you happy with that? Are you gonna take it no, or are you gonna happy. go for more? Uh, we'll take it like that. We oh. didn't get much sleep, so... Oh, that's fair. Uh, we wanna catch some sleep someday, you know? Well, glad you guys made it. Congrats on the 709. Thanks, man. We'll see you guys in India, right? At least it was 200. Yeah. Oh, it was? 204. Oh, hell yeah! Not bad. 204.7. Not bad for a little turbo brick here, right? But it's actually like 330 compared to yesterday. Very nice, very nice. It would have been a 6 on the track yesterday. You think so? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Time All right, a little bit of trouble with the Joe Barry machine over here. Uh, they have a slight leak in one of the tires, so they don't have any extra tires. They, I, don't, I don't know if they figured out the leak, but we're going to talk about it. Joey, what's the situation? Uh, out that left rear tire is losing air pressure really fast. Do you know where? We can't find it. Really? The valve stem, I can't find a hole in the tread, can't find a hole in the sidewall. I have no idea. All right, well, so, I'll check back with you boys a little bit. Hopefully you find it. All right. Well, guys, I got some sad news. Kyle just told me over the walkie that uh, Clark commented on Kyle's post that he made on Facebook last night about about Clark's car, and he said uh, they're having charging issues. I guess they got the car back together. They're having charging issues with the car. They can't get it fixed, so they're out. Race car things happen, but that is exactly why drag week is drag week. That's exactly why it's as hard as it is. It's, it's totally worth it when you just finish dragging. So, unfortunately, Clark's not going to do that this year, but there's a lot of other guys in it, so we're going to keep going with them. Uh, hopefully, we'll see Clark again next year. Uh, we got two of the DSMs here. They made the trip. That's my son. Did that? Yeah, that's, know that. We're the ones who built the dragster, remember? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Did, they, did both of them make it? Yeah. Awesome. They, they made it to the hotel and he's over there now. So all three DSMs made it. Nice. Alright. Just got word all three of the DSMs made it to the first track. That is an accomplishment right there. All of them have had some pretty major repairs. So good to see them.
Andrew. Is it? Yeah. No and it's turned out. Congratulations. Thank you. That was a beautiful launch. Yeah. Beautiful. We dropped a uh, 500 RPM off the launch. Really? To keep it down. Yeah. That's actually why the uh, exhaust is out of the hood. Is the exhaust actually keeps it <laughs> We saw Brian, a bunch on the road last night. He made it to the track here in a 679 yesterday. Let's see if we can get in the 66s today. Seven twelve at 200. It sounds fast, but to Bryant, that's not what he's looking for. He's looking for sixes. Right now, he's number two overall. They just announced, I think, with a seven, no, a six seventy four. And then we got the Schroeder boys in the blue C seven that did a six fifty two yesterday. So he's got some, he's got some ground to make up. I'm sure he's not going to be happy with that. He's going to go up for a six later. So stay tuned. Eight twenty three. Is that personal best? By one hundred. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, congrats on a personal. Personal best on drag week too. On drag week, yeah. One and done. That, that's what everybody dreams to do at every track is one and done. So congrats on that. We'll see you boys in Indy. Up next is our biggest class, the Street Machine Eliminator. There's brackets for 10 second, 11 second, 12 second, 13 second cars. And these are some of the slower cars. Well, they are the slowest cars at the race, but there are some very unique, cool cars here. So let's check out some of those. The, the Forerunner, the big turbo out of the hood is one of the crowd favorites. And of course, the milk truck is the crowd favorite. Here they come, pull on the drag strip right now. This is a beautiful facility. I'm up here on top of the media suite. track a few times but I never checked out the media suite I've never been up on top of here this is this is perfect you can see everything from here but one of the nicest tracks we've ever filmed at is right here there's a few at the top of our list and this is just a beautiful track even the concession stand looks like a small The milk truck is back. Wow, they gotta close the doors first. What's it gonna run? I'm going for 1160. All right, 1160. <laughs> Yesterday, which could not 
turn in, which means that gives them a 20 second pass. So they're not competitive for their class, but they didn't come here to compete. They're just here to have fun, and they sure are having fun. I mean, just look at that thing. All right, Kyle, day two. What's your favorite car on the property? Oh, boy. I got to go with two of them because one of them's not very competitive. The milk truck is by far my favorite just because of how weird it is. The big block, twin turbos, and completely different. And then, of course, my favorite competitive car is the, the Volvo wagon, by far. It's, it's so, that, thing's, that thing's going faster than And it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense that the Swedish brick can go low seven. So we'd hopefully see a six out of it Yeah. sometime this week. But I got to go for a ride yesterday. It's not very comfortable, but it's an experience. It's fast. It's like all of them. It's fast. number one overall pull into the pits. That would be the Schroeder boys with the blue C7 Corvette. I've yet to see them today. I saw them at a hotel when we drove by in town, so they're in town. I don't know if they're having troubles or what, or if they're just getting a good amount of sleep, but hopefully we see them later today and hopefully see another six out of them. against the willies too. To the track. Oh, this thing is nutty looking with a trailer on it. So no troubles on the road for you boys? Nice and easy drive? Didn't have the hood off. Ran really? 60, good oil pressure. Couldn't have been better. Fastest car of Drag Week 2021 is right here. Well, 652 is what he did in Michigan yesterday. Hopefully he can back that up with another mid six, maybe a low six. But right now, fast overall, right there. Just roll there. It has him by about 800. I don't even know if they're in the same class, but there is a stick shift shootout at the end of the week usually. So those guys are going to be battling it out, see who's the quickest on drag week. But I think John's got him by just a little bit today. So he can't run quicker than a 10 to turn in for a time slip for competition. He's already got that today, so now he's going to run a 9, see how quick he can go here at this track. And he always pulls that driver's front tire.
right, Winnie. Yeah. It's day two. What's your favorite car so far in the week? The Volvo wagon, hands down. Yeah? Yeah, I'm a wagon guy now. You, you now? Got now. myself a wagon a couple months ago, and uh, the fact that it's running, it's ran 690s, and it's running low 7s, top yeah. competitor, and it's just, like I told some guy, I was like, oh, this Volvo wagon's sick, and I told him, I was like, yeah, what it's running in first place, he goes, he goes, this? And I was like, yeah, I know, it doesn't look like it's supposed to go that fast, but. He's fourth overall right now. Yeah. That thing's crazy. It's pretty cool. It that sounds incredible. It does great burnouts. The passes always sound healthy. It's a good car. All right, so the Volvo wagon. You're kind of stealing that from me because I was going to pick the wagon, but I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll ask you later in the week, man. All right. Thanks, Fred. Seeing a mid eight out of this car, probably a eight five eight six. Stinson, you've been up here all day. You watched all the cars going on the track from here. I've actually been looking. Don't lie to me. You watched at least three. Total Which one's vision. your favorite today? So far. Volvo. Really? Yeah. You and Woody have the same favorite car. I already chose that one. Pick another. All three of you have the same favorite car then. <laughs> it is, you know, actually, I don't know about favorite car, but the Pepsi, Pepsi Joe. Love that thing. It's just cool that he built it in time before Parkinson's never know when it could, yep. you know. It's got a really good story. Yeah. And he's a cool guy, so. And he did a one and done today. He's on, his way, he's on his way to India oh, right already now. Out? Yep. All right. Hell yeah. Well, good job. Good job, Joe. Yeah. Stinson actually likes all of the uh, Mopars with their bumper guards on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hey, Joe. Yeah. Did you guys figure out what was up with the tire? It had a hole in it. It had a piece of metal. Put a tube in it. So it so in it so we'll try. Should be good for this pass at least. Yesterday. Yeah. And then you just got to find. You gonna try to find a tire for the rest of the week or what? No. People are we'll just leave it like that. Like a, we'll we'll try, try to get some, tie, uh, some tubes down it. Some of them. Gotcha. Let's see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Good luck. Thank you. starting line it looked like he got in a little bit more but he knew he wasn't going to do what he wanted to do so he let out they do have time he can come back we have about an hour and a half he can get it cooled down and come out there for another pass if he wants um, he probably will do that we'll see
wanted? That's what he wanted. So is it a Cyclone Swap Sonoma? Is that where the name comes from? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. No cage. That's a perfect pass right there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Capped at 1150. Yeah, exactly. Crunch the guy. 105 miles an hour. Taylor, back up here for her second pass. Second pass, third pass. Alex Taylor, back up here the starting line. She's going to be looking for a 760, 750. She's struggling to get down the track the way she wants to today. Let's see what she does right now. Shoe shopping with Joe Barry over here. And hang on, let's see if they're the right size. Right here. Are you the owner? Yeah. 
I need these tires. Alright. Um, how much? I need a pair. I just price matched some. Okay, so that's cheap. Let me go get my credit cards. Okay. And I'll be back. I need those. They're 115? Yep, both of them. Okay, right. I'll take them. I'll be right back. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Can I get it right back? Absolutely, let's go. Thank you. So Joe Barry started the day pulling the car in the lanes and then his son realized that one of the one of the back tires was losing some air. They found that a piece of metal got in the tire, so they were using their street tires, which were tires they haven't used since Rocky Mountain Race Week in 2015. Didn't know that the entire day there's a tire shop on the property of the racetrack here at Summer Raceway. It's crazy. And they have all the tires we just went in. I just went in there with Joe. They have the exact tires he wanted. Hoosiers in the exact size that he needs. He's gonna buy them, put them on the car. No time to get to get out there and make another pass today, but at least it'll salvage for the rest of the week. He can make decent passes. So fits like a glove. It does. You guys did good. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. That's gonna do it from here at Summit Motorsports Park. We're gonna go grab the route map, find out how long the route's gonna be. Probably about 250 miles again. But we're gonna be in Indy tomorrow, so make sure to subscribe to the channel for all of our live updates from that. But right now we're gonna go to the pits, check out some of the struggles the racers are going through to get out of the gate here, and then we're gonna hit the road and see who's on the road and what's going on there. We can still get it. We get the, the lanes are still open. Did you get? No, they're not. They closed. They're closed. Oh, damn. But did you get it fixed? Yeah. We were done at 154. Yeah. So we could have gone into lanes. You could. We said decided not to. Gotcha. But you got it fixed. You're good to go. Fixed, yeah. It All took right. us a little over an hour to do it. Not not bad. Pull training out. Remain seal in. Done. We'll see you boys in Indy. Yes, yeah. Sir. We got a few racers dwindling in the pits. Most of them look like they're doing all right. We got a few people under cars. We're gonna hit the road. We got, uh, what is it? 289 miles today. So pretty much the same drive as yesterday. I understand a little bit more of its interstate, so it might take us a little less time. Two checkpoints, we got a Love's truck stop and a park. So let's see what we run into along the way. Victims, 15 miles into the route. Let's see honking parts fall off his wife and a uh, yellow car. Let's see what's going on with them. Here goes Rich. What's up? Hello. What's going on? We have a uh, smoked power glide. Oh boy. Yeah. You got any spares in town? Nothing. No. <laughs> like they're going to uh, tow it to the city hall and he's going to go back up to Martin and get his truck and trailer. Just oh, store it there for now. Yeah, they're going to Dang it. Yeah, they're going to go him a tow. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, for real. Yeah. There you go. We got some bodies to put you in. Bob. Bob. Hold on. We got a solution. Uh-oh. We're going to go to work. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. Do you need a power glide for it? You, you can sure, you fit? man? Yeah, positive. Okay. So this guy said he's got a shop. They're going to get it to the shop. Unload the trailer here. We just got an offer. Really? Yeah, this guy wants to pull the transmission and get it done right now. See if he can so. fix the actual trans rather than swapping it? Yeah. That'd be cool. That's way better than calling it quits. <laughs> way better. That's awesome. <laughs> Get sleep next week, Rick. Up again. <laughs> Oh, it's literally a transmission and clutch shop. Monroeville transmission and clutch. <laughs> so as we were walking away, uh, the guys with the other cars that stopped to help out the family here said that the transmission guy was closing up shop and just couldn't get him in, unfortunately. But then we walked up with the cameras and started talking to him, and and Dad was trying to find a ride, and he's like, you know what, just just bring your car in here, we'll get it fixed up. <laughs> Apparently all you need is a film crew and they're like, oh, they're important. Let's yeah, we can get you in now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glad to be a service. <laughs> Even a radiator in there. Uh, it's in the trunk. Oh, oh, gotcha. Underneath the trunk. But... I gotcha. 
You tried rigging up some sort of sprayer on the inner, on the radiator? I've seen that done. Yeah. yeah that's, that's work. You like a weed sprayer or something? Uh, tractor supply, something like that. Yeah. And then faster seat, you, you just route, the, route it to here with that Well, hose. in the back, but yeah. What? Radiator's back oh, there. Oh, sorry, it's back it's there. And then you pump it and spray, and the hose will spray on the, and it'll keep it cool. Oh, shit. Yeah, you pump it up, and yeah, just run a hose, like, extended from the, like, the trigger handle all the way back and put holes in it, so it'll spray different spots in the radiator. Yeah. yeah. Well, limper to a part store and see what you can rig together. It's an idea, at least. Yeah, next one will be for Thanks, guys. Absolutely. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Good luck. All right, thanks. Driving down the highway and Fred spotted the Volvo over here on these on these guys' property. <laughs> just hanging out. You guys just taking a break? <laughs> just hit, watching the cars drive by? Yeah, I'm yeah. it'd be a good picture. <laughs> Yeah, we parked on the road and they told us to. Then we seen a nice shade. Well, like, oh, that was yeah, nice of you. Thank you. We're gonna get too much suicide if you stayed on the road. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate road. you guys letting me come over here. Yeah, what happened? The road started sputtering like crazy. And oh, yeah. We could find something. Good luck, you guys. Thanks. Have a good one, guys. We were thinking the worst and ended up just being a front plug. Oh, okay. Yeah. So oh, it's easy. Fit. Oh, right yeah. there. It's right along the downpipe, so. Yeah. But we have spares. Common LS things. We'll be back in business. Yeah. Turbo LS things. Yep. All right. Hour and 15 minutes in, we've made it 15 miles from the track. It's been quite the struggle so far today. Let's see who else we can run into here. <laughs> 15 seconds later. Jesus. <laughs> Rolling? Just making some uh, strap adjustments. Yeah. Okay. We, uh, we had this oh. come off on the last railroad uh, tie back there. Oh, you did? Yeah. Get a little damage on it? Not too bad. We're starting to get some cracks just from having it off. Yeah, it's strapped down pretty good. Should be good for the rest of the ride. I'm glad it's nothing serious. All right. Good luck, guys. Yep. Yep. Have We are at the first checkpoint here of the day. Love's truck stop. We have two checkpoints today. I don't know how far the next one is, but we got a few racers scattered throughout here. Yeah! Whoa, that was a good one! God Thank damn. you for stopping. <laughs> oh wow. Wow. That was that was a quality burnout. That was a good burnout. Yeah. The Volvo's here, you got a spark plug fixed, spark plug wire, got the wheelies, yeah. He tried. Well here's a familiar face. How you doing? Haven't had a chance to come say hi yet. Well, you, made it, you made it to Drag Week. You I told made. us in Indiana at the half mile you're going to come. Yes, and we made it. And you got help this time. Mark? Yes. Mark How's it going, up. Kyle? Hey, Kyle. Kyle. What do you think brother. so far? First day was good. Yes, today was a bad day. Yeah. We've lost the alternator belt. <laughs> yeah, we had a cool story, though. Hats off to Randy over at O'Reilly's. We were broke down on the side of the road. Randy from O'Reilly's drove us an alternator belt. Are you two serious? Two miles from the shop. Yeah, we called him. <laughs> Told him Free we delivery. Going, he said, I'll be right there. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. It's awesome. So you just called and he's like, Yeah, I'll, I'll come on out. Yep, yep, yep. Brought us two belts. Gave us what, a spare. what city was he in? He was in Norwalk. Okay. He's Randy. Nice. Yep, yep. It was good. So yeah, we're. It's very cool. So we're back to charging where we should be and heading nice. for Randy and hoping for no rain. All right, well, enjoy the rest of the trip. All right, thanks. Take oh, care. Yeah. sleeping, we know where you're at all the time. What do you got? Teflon tape or O-ring kit? We we'll blew an O-ring on the uh, fuel the filter. filter. We've got some old guy that just sent that on. Can't go real thick. Can only go just a little bit past. It'll be okay for a thousand oh, bucks. Oh, it's leaking all over. Right. Here's that. Is this the one we fixed? Yeah, it's just the one we fixed. Is it? Yes, it is. Oh, all right. 
I wouldn't call it fixed. No, it's not fixed. All right, boys. Well, okay. we'll see you guys. Thanks, Thanks guys. You. See you. Take care. Minor issue. They just bypassed the fuel filter, and we should be good to go for the rest of the drive. out here in your natural habitat, farming some corn. <laughs> this is a typical juvenile. Yeah, you forget gas. We're, we're on two alternators now. Oh. Clint Zalkowski better watch out. I'm going for his record. <laughs> well, are you ready for the moment of truth? Yeah, of course. Ready? Let's go. like that. <laughs> Alright, so uh, Greeny 2.0 has had quite the day. They went through two alternators, a fuel tank, uh, the distributor gear just got stripped, and because the, they have another distributor, and or they can either replace the whole distributor or just change the gear out, but on top of that, that was a brass distributor gear, so they're going to dump all the oil not dump it, they're gonna drain the oil and put new oil in because that's it's not good to have all that brass in there and it could ruin your bearings. They said they're just going down down the street to Walmart like five more miles, but even that, it could cause some damage. So they're gonna drain the oil, get all the brass out of there, as much brass out of there as possible, and then uh, put the new distributor gear in, or the new distributor, and uh, they should be good. Quite, quite the day. Jesse, we'll see you in Indy. Take care. What if I guys. see you first? <laughs> <laughs> Be safe. The old Truckter is back up and running, and I think we're only a few miles from the next checkpoint, so we'll be seeing more racers here momentarily. We need some trailer burnouts right here. Oh my goodness. We're right there. This reminds me of, of the checkpoint. There's the burnout winner of the day. That was legit. Woo! What's up? That was legit. Nice work. This would be an epic spot for trailer burnouts. We gotta find a we gotta find someone. Because I bet it can't even do a burnout. Yeah. Well, oh you were in the gas station when he did a gnarly trailer. He did no, burnout. I don't think he can do one. You gotta redo it for Fred. Yeah, I didn't even get to see it. I don't even believe it can do one. Uh, <laughs> It doesn't have the proper it's equipment. It's just a truck engine, you know. It's right. Just, you know, I've seen thousands of them. It's garbage. I'd say that was pretty good. I'd say that's pretty good. Give us a rating, one out of ten. Mm. I would go, I would go like nine, but he stopped, like and had to start uh, again. That's fair. So that's probably fair. like a seven and a half. Seven point five? Yeah, his one from earlier is better. Seven point five. Seven point five. All right, not bad, not bad. Before the there cops we come. Go. Look at the smoke cloud. Ten. That one's a 10? 10 out of 10, ten. on that one, yeah. Look at the smoke cloud. I mean, you'll see it in the video, but. <laughs> you, can see the, you can definitely <laughs> tell it was not impressed with the first one. He had yeah. To go back. yeah. <laughs> hey, Fred. How's it going? Uh, we've been here a while. Oh, no. <laughs> we've been here. Oh, Jesus. Three and a half hours. What? Yeah. Transmission you? cooler. Like. Really? Yeah. Honestly, you can't break down in a better spot. We've been staring at the lake for like three hours. Can't it's beat good. it. Can't it's beat good, it. Man. We'll get it. So look, we got you, stuff from the parts store. Did you guys go get just another uh, oil cooler? Yeah. Just, just an O'Reilly's. Just, just cheap, an universal. We'll see what happens. Whatever. Luckily, so, they're just down yeah. the road. If it works. It works. We got, 
got the FPV drone out now. Fred's got the full experience. This is crazy. Wait, there it is. Birds have been chasing it. Oh, Oh, jeez. The birds are going crazy over it. All right, you can't really see right now, but we are in a cemetery. We saw lights, people on the side of the road with lights, and uh, we saw a dead deer on the side of the road. Oh no. Yeah, a deer. Shoot. The deer's laying up there. Yeah, we oh, saw it. Did you have to swerve? Or did we didn't even oh, know, we it was dark. We just, bam! Really? We got lucky. What the hell it was, was that? really dark right here. Your yeah. game's oh, yeah. all good, so it's cosmetic, definitely. So it's good. That's good. good. Just a headlight then. Not the, who was shoved it? everything back. Okay, back on the road. Leaving the cemetery now. Really fun stop. Well, we haven't seen many racers for the last 30 minutes or so. We just hit some pretty serious rain and the wind is crazy. So good luck to the racers out there that are driving even drag radials, but some of these guys are on slicks and there's a lot of standing water out there. So hopefully they drive slowly. We don't hear of any bad accidents tomorrow. Oh. Ouch. Well, at least the drag weakers are more prepared than this guy. Look at that lime truck. Damn. Oh, that's the new, uh, We've officially made it to Indy. We didn't see too many racers at the hotels here pulling in. I'm hoping a lot of them stopped because a lot of guys are on drag radials. A few people swap over, but during racing, everyone has to be on a drag radial or a slick here at Drag Week, and that is super sketchy. We were we were hydroplaning on all season tires that you can drive in the snow. Some of those guys would spin out if they're over like 20 miles an hour. So hopefully they all make it to Indy here safely. We'll be checking with a lot of them tomorrow, and we got plenty of racing coming at you tomorrow and the next two days after that. So make sure to subscribe the channel. Thank you guys for watching today's video. We'll see you tomorrow.